a very good morning all of you welcome back to stld lab so in this lab session we are going to simulate the read only memory ics using deed software so the same simulation will be applicable to pram also ram and pram are more or less in a similar way with a slight difference in their internal structure how they program it by the programmer so if you look at here these are the typical uh, rams available in deed software you can have 16 by 4 rams 64 by 4 ram and so on you can have 4k into 16 bars like 4990 4096 of 16 bit words so we have variety of uh, read only memories available in deed software we can simulate them we'll see how to simulate them ram if you if you go to deed software you go to the memory menu in memory menu you can access both random access memories as well as rom in rom you have a variety of uh, roms available depending on the word length these are 4 bit word length these are 8 bit word length and these are 16 bit word length and the first number will tell you how many number of words suppose if it is a 16 by 4 means 16 4 bit words 64 by 8 means 64 8 bit words 256 by 16 means 256 16 bit words so let's take a simple example of 16 by 4 how the internal structure will be there how the memory will be stored in the how the given 4 bit numbers are stored inside the ram which can store 4 bit information you can see this in the binary form when you click on this ic i see you will get a pop up window in which you can see the 16 4 bit words because it's 16 by 4 ram this this 4 bit words you can edit it before you going to start the simulation editing means you are programming your ram for the particular data so this will be done at the manufacturer by the programmer depends depends on it's a ram or pram so or else you can also see the same data points or data words which to be stored in the exa form also here it is four ones here it is f equivalent is f here it is seven the here it is binary seven equivalent will be seven in the exa form in the last two last two memory locations are ff you can see ff so either you can give your input in the exa decimal form or binary form before you run the simulation you have to store your desired information in the memory location in case of 16 by 4 you have total 16 memory locations so so this is the data i want to program it i'll show you how to program the same data and we can retrieve the same data so to do this let's do the simulation in a moment so this is the data i want to program it i already taken here now let's go to the memory and go to the rom and select 16 by 4 here so now you can see the 16 memory locations which are given here so now i am not going to program because i want to give the connections first so let me take a four bit input switch directly instead of giving four individual switches so let me giving here this is the memory location address this is the memory address that means you are going to locate each memory address by this four bit input then you have to use one more input switch for the chip select this will enable output then i am going to take output display i am taking a seven segment display so that i can see the desired number in the exa form directly let me will show you equivalent exa number of binary form or else if you want to show the binary form you can still see the binary form also here you can just connect a binary form here and you can select the same uh, connections here so that you can see the binary information also not only exa information 
now your connections are connected now you want to program this ram so let's click on the ram then you can program your data at first location you want 9 you can directly enter then 8 then 7 then 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 then 0 again 1 2 then 3 then A then B and then C now you have you have entered your desired data points into memory location then save it so now it is going to save so export it for our reference purpose so you can give some random name then save then ok now your RAM is programmed with these data points these data words now we are going to simulate and check whether you are able to see the same thing or not so let's start so now chip select is 0 we cannot see anything even if you change any memory address the moment you keep the chip number chip select to 1 you are going to see the first memory data point that is 9 then if I make 1 I am going to see 8 because 8 is there then I am going to see 7 then 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then A then B then C so you can clearly see you are able to see binary information as well as the exa information so now that means this RAM is programmed to store only this particular data at any point of time you can access this data this data is permanently stored in this RAM by hardwired connections so you cannot erase this data since it's a simulation we can reprogram it if you want so I can go back and I can go and change one of the number let's make it first two bits as first three bits as eight I can change it then save and press ok then you can re then you can rerun it now you can still change now it is eight second also eight third also eight and fourth one is six okay so that's how the manufacturer will program your RAM according to your requirement so this ram is storing 16 4 bit words okay now we'll take another example and show you how it's going to how it's going to like store higher 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 bit length like 16 bit or 8 bit word okay so let's see and let's simulate it so this is 16 by 4 just now we discussed now let's go to the next one now 16 by 8 that means it is going to store 16 8 bit words that means if you click on this ram you are going to see 16 memory locations each of 8 bit words if you go to binary form you will understand you can see each word is 8 bit length so I can program with this uh, 16 by 8 that means 16 8 bit words let me make it both AA then BB then CC then DD then EE then FF then 11 then 22 then 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 and remaining are FF so if you please remember it is AA BB CC DD EE FF followed by 1 1 2 2 3 3 okay so this is that I want to store in 16 by 8 RAM that means 16 8 bit words I have stored I can show you in binary form now these are the 16 8 bit words now I am going to save this one then press ok now your ram is programmed for 16 by 8 words let me run and show you whether that ram has the particular data which we programmed or not now you can see here chip select already one so we are able to see the first memory location address all zero memory as aa then bb then cc then dd then ee then ff then 11 then 22 
then t3 then 4 4 then 5 5 then 6 6 so this ram is storing 16 8 bits words okay similarly you can also extend these two 16 by 16 that means it is going to store 16 16 bit words that means if you if you click on this ram you are going to see total 16 memory locations of 16 bit wide that means you can see 4 4 bits as individual or you can see in exa form you will store 3 4 5 and so on let will check whether this is giving same or not so first c will be all 0 then followed by all 1s then followed by 3 then followed by 5 followed by 7 okay so it is giving 16 16 bit numbers okay similarly you can also use the data bus instead of giving lot of wire connection you can use a simple data bus to do the same job if you look at here this is 256 by 8 that means 256 8 bit words are stored inside so you can open and see the ram internal so you can see this is a 256 matrix okay so this 256 matrix which are having 8 bit words this is one 8 bit word this another 8 bit word and so on okay let me program with all zeros first line then after that you go to 1 1 then 2 2 then 3 3 4 4 and 5 5 and so on you can program all these 256 memory locations then save this data then press ok now you can simulate it and chip select is 1 and this is a rotating uh, kind of input okay this actually 8 bit input okay now it is 0 0 now you can see you can also see the binary combination here as you rotate it now this is 0 then 1 again 0 2 also 0 4 also 0 5 is 2 2 and then followed by 4 4 then ff and so on so you can see all the memory location like you can see total 256 memory location data by using this particular ROM okay so this is a bus splitter this splits 8 bit data into 2 4 bit data so that we can see the individual 4 bit data similarly you can extend it to 1k memory also 1k 1k memory we have a total 1048 data 1048 memory locations so these are the total 1048 memory locations of 16 bit length so if you look at here first first three bits are all zeros all ones all four fours then four is four days let me check whether it's giving or not so this is a tri-state output that means you have to enable output enable also then you can change your input then one all ones then 2 all 4s then 3 all a's then 4 all d's so it is giving total 1048 16 bit words so you are storing 1048 16 bit words in this particular memory if you if you make output enable as 0 you don't see anything because it's a straight your output is a tri-state bus so until unless you enable output enable it will not show the data so moment you make it output enable one it shows the data which is stored in this particular memory location so this is 67 67 then ff and so on so so this way we can extend it to 4096 by 16 bit ram like you can also simulate all these rams okay wherever you see three state that means the output is having a tri-state bus so you have to enable the output and this is 4k into 16 that means 4096 words of 16 bit length with tri-state output so these are mostly with the data buses if you look at here so this is a 4096 memory locations here and you have a 0 to 15 that means 16 bit data bus outside and 0 to 12 address addressing address encoding like you have a total 12 inputs to decode each address location in the ram okay so this how we can 
program the RAM and you can simulate and check whether the given data is stored properly or not, whether you are able to retrieve the data properly or not. Only thing is this is only one time programmable. So once it is programmed, you cannot change it. Okay. So this is all about your RAM. Please explore on your own higher order ROMs like 256 by 16. Okay. So you can check out how they are giving the results. Okay. This is all for RAM lecture, RAM lab session. Thank you all.